You love it, and I love it, and it is time for Ice Cream Week again. There are five awesome flavors coming right at you. You know we all love breakfast. That's why I'm taking all those things you love to eat, drink, and turn them into your favorite ice cream. These ice creams are amazing, great flavor, and seriously, they are gonna be made time and again. All these amazing flavors are coming up on this week's Wise Guy. This is the fifth year for Ice Cream Week, and honestly, I don't get tired of them. If you know anything about me, you know I have an obsession with ice cream. I know you're probably saying, okay, so everyone loves ice cream. Yeah, no, I can make myself sick on ice cream. I grew up eating ice cream all the time. My dad was obsessed with ice cream, and I am obsessed with ice cream. The first one up is one of my favorite breakfast items. Who doesn't love French toast? It's mapley, buttery, and it is gonna be formed into an amazing ice cream that is reminiscent of any delicious French toast. Once you get to know the base recipe, these ice creams are really the same. You are just changing the flavorings. So it's easy to master. To start, we're gonna pour together the milk, cream, corn syrup, maple syrup, some white granulated sugar, and some salt. Place that on the stove, whisk just to moisten all the sugar, and then let that come to a low boil. You are gonna notice that this is unlike any other ice cream. There are no eggs. I know, some of you traditionalists out there are gonna be saying, wait, what? How's it getting thick? Where's the custard? This makes no sense. I know, but it's delicious and almost better. Yeah, you can slap me later. This hinges on a perfect cornstarch slurry. You just wanna to mix together some reserved milk and cornstarch. That is gonna thicken this ice cream, not too much, no grittiness, no powderiness, just perfectly. Mix it until it's dissolved and then place it by the stove. Once your milk mixture is coming up to a low boil, you wanna boil it for a couple minutes. I know this sounds really wrong, because everyone is like, you don't boil milk, it's gonna curdle, it's gonna overflow. No, make sure you have a good sized kettle, and then you are just boiling off some of the extra water. Once it is boiled, just remove it from the burner and slowly whisk in your cornstarch slurry. Place it back over the heat, just until it all starts to boil again. That is gonna make sure that all the cornstarch is activated. Once the bubbles are throughout the mixture, you can just remove it from the heat. Now whisk in your vanilla extract, some butter flavoring. You need the butter flavoring. I know it sounds odd, but that's really gonna bring out that French toast flavor because what do you like to fry your French toast in? Yeah, I know, it's butter. A little bit of maple flavoring just to really amp up that maple we put in there and then just whisk that all together till it's combined. Pour it through a strainer right into your ice cream container, whatever you wanna chill it in, and then let it cool slightly till it stops steaming. Place a lid over it and chill it until it's cold. I like to make any of my ice creams the night before I wanna churn them. Most of the countertop ice cream makers need a well-chilled base. So just put it in the fridge, forget about it until you're ready to churn. While the ice cream's chilling, you can make your cinnamon sauce. I know it sounds different, cinnamon sauce, but yeah, that is gonna bring this all together and make you say, holy cow, I'm eating French toast and ice cream. I know, it's so exciting. In a small kettle, combine your sugar and cornstarch. Whisk that together just to make sure the cornstarch is evenly combined into the sugar. That way there's gonna be no clumps of cornstarch. Who wants clumps? No one. Add some butter and water. Place it on the stove, let the butter melt, the sugar dissolve, and cook it until it is thickened. It is really quick and easy. Remove it from the heat, add in your vanilla and cinnamon, because this is cinnamon sauce. Whisk that till it's completely combined, and then just pour it into a jar and chill it alongside your ice cream base. Now that everything is well chilled, you can churn your ice cream. Make sure to follow the instructions on your ice cream maker if it's different than mine. I use the attachment for my stand mixer. Pour the chilled base right into the freezer, add the paddle, and then put it right onto the mixer. Turn it until it's about the soft serve consistency. It's delicious at this point, but it's not quite frozen hard yet. Once it's churned, you can remove it from your maker, and then I like to layer it with the sauce. 
you could stir it right into it, but then it just kind of goes away and you don't really realize it's in there. So layering it helps. So when you scoop it out, you have these great ribbons of the sauce. A Little bit of ice cream, a little bit of prepared sauce. Just keep going. Take a spoonful into your mouth every so often because it is delicious and that's okay. You're making it so you can do it. Once it is all ready to go, just put the lid on top and place it right into your freezer. It's best if you can wait another four to six hours. I know, it's hard. I feel the pain. But then it will be the perfect consistency. It's not hard ice cream, do not worry. That's all there is to it. Take it out, serve it up. It always scoops beautifully. That is the corn syrup helping there. And it's delicious. Seriously, the first spot I took, I said, oh my word, this is just like French toast. If you love this ice cream as much as I do, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. For the recipe, click on over to my website in the description box. And I'll see you tomorrow with another awesome recipe for ice cream.